Hello, everyone. I'd like to introduce to you the four major regions of Texas. We have our four major re regions. They include the, the High Plains, which are located here, the Mountains and Basin region, the Gulf Coastal Plains, and we have here the Central Plains right in the middle of Texas. Now the first region we're going to talk about today is the Mountain and Basin. It is the most western region of Texas. It is the highest and driest part of Texas. A basin is a low bowl-shaped land with higher ground all around it. You'll see in just a second. The basins in this Texas region are desert. This region has all of Texas mountains and valleys. The mountains in Texas are part of the Rocky Mountains with, which stretch through the western United States from Mexico to Canada. The, rock, the Texas Rocky Mountains are made up of small mountain ranges. You might hear the, the Davis Mountains or the Guadalupe Mountains. The Guadalupe Peak is the highest point in Texas and it averages 8,749 feet at sea level. This is the city of El Paso. The name is Spanish for the pass. El Paso is the westernmost city of Texas. This is a picture of the Chihuahuan Desert and in the, in the mountain basin region. And you'll see right here is the prickly pear cactus. Hmm, I wonder why it's called the prickly pear cactus. Many tumbleweeds, you'll see, are located in this part of the desert also. This is a picture of the Rio Grande River. It's located in Big Bend National Park, and which this part, 99% of it, is desert. Hmm, I wonder what would be in my suitcase if I were to visit the mountain and basin region. Did you know that the largest pterodactyl bone ever discovered was found right here in Big Bend National Park? Pretty amazing. On the opposite side of Texas, we have the Coastal Plains region. The Coastal Plains region The Coastal Plains region is mostly flat land that lies along an ocean. Coastal plains cover nearly one third of the state of Texas. This is the Piney Woods of Texas. It is home to many pine trees. It was once home to the Caddo Indians. The Caddo's were a very different tribe because women were chosen as chiefs. Many mockingbirds live here also. Mockingbirds are our state bird. They got their name from their unique ability to copy or mock the sound they hear. In the coastal plains, you will find many pecan trees, which is our state tree. The weather in the coastal region consists of a mild climate. Its winters are short and warm compared to those in the Northeast. Its summers are long, hot, and humid. Humid means damp and moist. In the Gulf Coastal region, there are lots of rivers and lakes for fishing and water sports. Hmm, I wonder if I would need to pack the same thing in my suitcase as if I were in the mountain and basin region. Corpus Christi is a city in the coastal region, um, is a port where ships from all over the world visit. The, world spark the water sparkles here, so the city was named Sparkling City by the Sea. Rivers that flow west drain into the Gulf of Mexico. Many people visit the beaches of Galveston. The coastal plains of Texas lie along an ocean the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico feed into the Atlantic Ocean. 
This is a picture of downtown Houston. This is the home of NASA and the San Jacinto Monument. The San Jacinto Monument marks the site of the final battle of the Texas Revolution. Sam Houston led his soldiers to victory over the Mexican soldiers there. This is downtown Dallas. It's really hard to believe this big city began as only one small cabin. Oil is found in the coastal plains. These tall structures are oil derricks. Many people call the oil derricks the oil found in Texas Black Texas Tea. In the southernmost area of Texas, known as the Valley, crops grow all year round due to the warm weather and sunshine. Some of these crops include cotton, as seen in the picture, sugar cane, citric fruits, wheat, cabbage, soybean, and corn. The valley really is not a valley at all. It is a flat plain that the Rio Grande flows through. I'm wondering, hmm, how do you think it got its name? Crops are often transported by trains and sold and distributed throughout the country. In Kingsville, located in the coastal plains, you will find a King Ranch. It is named for Captain Richard King, who was a cattle breeder. He and his wife, Henrietta King, ran the ranch. He introduced a new strand of cow in Texas that could live in the hot climate and that had thick skin to protect it from pesky insects. Hmm, mosquitoes. The King Ranch is still one of the largest cattle ranches in Texas. So we've talked about the mountains and basin region. Hmm, I probably need hiking boots if I were there. Then we traveled to the large Gulf Coastal Plains of Texas. We know it's humid. We know there's lots of water, lots of lakes. Hmm, I don't think I need the same thing. Well, next we're traveling to the high plains of Texas. This is the Panhandle and reaches way down. So it's kind of sandwiched between the two regions. If you notice, this area in Texas is the Panhandle. It, a Panhandle is a narrow strip of land that is joined to a bigger piece of land. On a map, it looks like a handle of a pan. The land in the high plains is higher, but more level than of the other regions. While it does not contain the mountains that the mountain and basin region does, it does have higher plains than the rest of Texas. Remember, plains are flat lands. In the southernmost part of the high plains region of Texas is called the Edwards Plateau. Here's the plateaus. You can see flat lands. Like any other plateau, part of the land of the Edwards Plateau is high and flat like a table. The southern and eastern parts of the Edwards Plateau, however, they have many hills. In fact, this land west of Austin is so hilly that it is often called the hill country. In the Texas Panhandle, the border between the Central Plains, which we will visit next, and the High Plains is marked by a landform called the Caprock Escarpment. An escarpment is a long wall of steep cliffs where the elevation of the land changes. Not many people know that Texas is the home of the second largest canyon in the United States. It's known as the Grand Canyon of Texas, but its real name is the Palo Duro Canyon. It's located just south of Amarillo. Wow, this looks a little bit different than Houston. The major cities in the High Plains region are Lubbock and Amarillo. Did you know that there are 56 parks in Amarillo? It is also famous for hosting the largest livestock auction in Texas. Cattle are plenty in Amarillo, but you probably won't find an armadillo. Do you know why? The panhandle is too cold for most armadillos. They are normally not seen here. The High Plains region is very dry and has little water supply. The early settlers in Texas faced many droughts and sandstorms, dust storms, in these areas of Texas. 
A popular critter to live in these dry plains is called the prairie dogs. They burrow underground to keep cool. Wheat is grown in the high plains. It is easy to grow in areas with less water. Since the high plains region is dry and gets little water, wheat is the one crop of choice. Cotton is also an important crop to the high plains region. Our fourth and final region of Texas is the Central Plains region. The Central Plains has a little higher elevation than the coastal plains. The land rises from 600 feet above sea level to about 2,000 feet above sea level at the western edge. The Central Plains region is a rural area, not having a high population. It has warmer summers and cooler winters. There are many larger cattle ranges in the Central Plains region. There is not much rainfall here. Rolling hills cover much of the Central Plains in Texas. In many places in the Central Plains, rivers and streams have cut steep-sided hills and valleys into the land. For this reason, the region is often called the Rolling Hills region. Fort Worth was one of the many stops along the famous cattle trail known as the Chisholm Trail. The Chisholm Trail was established by a Cherokee trader. Many cowboys and cowgirls compete in this, reg in this region in rodeos. Fort Worth is one larger city in the Central Plains region. It is known for its stockyards and cowboys. One fact you may not know concerns a little critter found here in the Central Plains. It is the horned toad. You don't see them very often, but if you do, be very careful. They are on the threatened list. That means the species is threatened of becoming extinct. So, if you're ever in Fort Worth, be on the lookout. So there you have it. The Gulf Coastal Plains, the Central Plains sandwiched in between, the High Plains, and last on the western border of Texas, the Mountains and Basin region. All four make up this great state of Texas, but they're all very diverse and unique.